Hello and welcome to the wiring tutorial for the new improved Panasonic Whisper Green Select Series fan units. Panasonic is pleased to offer the most technologically advanced indoor air quality solutions. Whisper Green Select allows the installer to customize the fan to suit your particular needs. As with all Panasonic fan units, the Whisper Green Select Series is UL listed for use in a tub and or shower enclosure when used on a GFCI branch circuit wire. It's best to have an idea how you'd like to have your Whisper Green Select fan operate before you start your installation. Depending on the desired functions, you can choose multiple wiring methods. Please note, you will need to adhere to and obey all local wiring codes when using these methods. We'll cover some of the wiring methods in this tutorial and explain the fan's operation with each method. Before we get started, it's important to note that every base model of Whisper Green Select is three fans in one right out of the box. You'll find a CFM selector switch on the fan's motor plate, which allows you to set the speed of a Whisper Green Select fan from 50, 80, or 110 CFM for all models with 0511 in the part number, or 110, 130, or 150 CFM on all models with 1115 in the part number. Simply select the speed at which you'd like the fan to operate by moving the selector switch to the desired CFM. Upon opening the fan's junction box cover, you'll find the Whisper Green contains black, white, and green wire leads, along with two red wire leads on the fan-only model. Lighted models include three additional black, white, and blue wires labeled light. For the basic wiring method, we'll be wiring the fan for use as a traditional on and off spot ventilation fan, and we're not looking to add any of the plug and play modules offered for the Whisper Green Select. Wiring the fan with this method will bring power from the electrical panel to the wall switch. At the wall switch, We'll attach the power conductor, the black cable, to the line side of a single pole switch. From the switch, we continue the run with the power conductor, again the black cable, connected to the load side of the switch. Up into the fan's junction box where it's connected to the power lead, again the black conductor for the fan's motor. The neutral conductor, the white cable, is connected together at the switch box and continues to the fan's junction box where it is connected to the white lead in the junction box. The ground wire is brought up to the wall switch, continues up to the ground lead, the green wire, in the fan's junction box. The two red wires remain untouched. There's no need to do anything with them. Simply leave the red wires capped separately and tucked into the junction box. It's important to note that if you choose to add any of the plug and play modules at a later time, they will only work if the wall switch is in the on position. Otherwise, there will be no power to the fan so the modules would be inoperable if the fan were in the off position. For the automatic operation method, you would be using the motion sensor module or the condensation sensor module to either turn the fan on or off, or if using the continuous run module to boost the fan from low to high speed. If you choose this wiring method, you will not have manual control of the fan. You'll be relying on the sensors only to control the fan. To wire the fan using this method, simply bring the power from the source directly to the fan's junction box. Bring the power lead, the black conductor, to the black lead for the fan's motor. The neutral, the white wire, to the white lead in the fan's junction box. And the bare ground wire to the green conductor in the fan's junction box. With this wiring method, simply leave the two red conductors capped separately and tucked into the fan's junction box. For manual control wiring, the fan works in conjunction with a wall switch and any of the plug and play modules. For this method, simply bring the power supply from the source directly to the fan's junction box. Bring the power lead, the black conductor, to the black lead to the fan's motor, the neutral white wire to the white lead in the fan's junction box, and the bare ground wire to the green conductor in the fan's junction box. The red wires in the fan's junction box are signal wires that are designed to turn the fan from standby to on or from low to high speed if using a continuous run module. They are not designed to carry current. Do not attach power to these conductors. These conductors are connected to either side of a standard single pole switch. Turning the switch into the on position allows the fan to turn on or boost to the high speed mode by completing a signal loop to the fan's motor. With this wiring method, you can still use the motion sensor and condensation modules as secondary control. However, please note that these controls will only be active when the wall switch is in the off position. With the switch in the on position, the signal loop will be completed and the fan will be in the active mode. The motion sensor 
and or condensation sensor will not affect the fan at this point. However, if the switch is in the off position, the signal loop is open, the motion sensor and or condensation sensor will control the fan. For the dual operation wiring method, two single pole over single pole switches are used to control the fan operation and nightlight operation. We will start with the single pole over single pole switch on the left. Remove the common tab. Bring the power supply from the source to the lower switch. Bring the power lead, the black conductor, from the lower switch to the black lead on the fan's motor, the neutral white wire to the white lead in the fan's junction box, and the bare ground wire to the green conductor in the fan's junction box. The upper switch connects to the red signal wires on the fan. The red wires in the fan's junction box are signal wires that are designed to turn on the fan from standby or from low to high speed if using the multi-speed module. They are not designed to carry current and do not attach power to these conductors. These conductors are connected to both sides of the top of the switch with no current supplied. The lower switch will enable the fan to be powered with or without the use of motion or condensation modules. If you are using these modules, keep the fan powered on to enable auto operation. When using multi-speed switch in the Whisper Green, the upper switch can boost the fan from constant run low speed to high speed. The single pole over single pole switch on the right controls the light and night light operation. The common tab remains in place, do not remove. Bring the power supply from the source to the switch. Power is then brought up to the fan junction box. There are wires labeled light in the junction box. Supply power to the black color wire for regular light operation and power to the blue color wire for night light. Connect the neutral white wire to the white lead in the fan's junction box and the bare ground wire to the green conductor in the fan's junction box. Thanks for watching.